Well, it's it's true that I mean, obviously, uh, when you when when we were young, uh, it was a little bit different, right? I mean, today, I think too many songs today are written, uh, you know, between the, the same songwriting teams, and you know, where the scope is less about what we're talking about, you know, the the spiritual or emotional side about music, and it's it's more just about you know numbers and reaching certain goals, right? Which exactly. which when I was young, I mean. I don't want to sound like you know like a frustrated grandpa, but like when when I was when I was young, we we met. I met up with my friends because we wanted to be together, and we made music together because it was fun, right? And yes, obviously, we also thought, wow, it would be great if one day this band would become uh, you know uh, famous and we could live of that. But that wasn't the main drive, right? Our mm-hmm. drive was just to to be together and and to be able to play and you know and 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 that often I think today and. I see that because I work a lot with uh, with young musicians, no, uh, and uh, and sometimes that that aspect is 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 lost, and it's it's not it's not really their fault because it's just society has has gone in that direction because even even about you know like when I was young you could play anywhere really I mean you could you could play any pub or any bar or any club there was so many places that would you know that would want people to play today i mean it's it's difficult people say it's easier because on the internet it's easier to reach uh public but i don't think so i think it's more difficult today for 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 young people well um you can tell me i might be wrong but my my philosophy about this is that in art you have to have to to originally you you have the love for what you do, but but there is a point where you sort of strive to become somebody or to to do the most famous work or whatever. But then they that that's sort of the drive. But then there comes a point where an artist realizes that that's not the point of art. And the, the point is really to touch somebody or to to make music that is um uh, not not to be famous, but it's making music that makes sense or that speaks or that changes opinions or um and I wonder sometimes if if young people are bombarded today with those with these icons, you know, like oh you have to be famous, you have to have so many followers, you have to do these venues, but that that this point of losing those small audiences like you say going into a bar and singing and really touching people that that's missing absolutely i completely agree uh it's also a bit the time you know that i realized that they're already at, at a young age today as you say that you get bombarded with so many things that you don't really have time you know time has become yeah. the big luxury like i remember when when some albums would come out I would literally go to the to the to the music shop, uh, get the CD, go home or the vinyl, and and just listen from the beginning to the end of an album and enjoying it and looking at the booklet and you know looking at who produced it and who plays on what track and who wrote which song and you know listening to the songs, reading the lyrics and stuff like that. And yeah, I think today, you know, there's. Uh, there's the internet. There's uh, so many, so many other things that you know that that, as you say, you get bombarded with. So that uh, there, there's just yeah, there's less time for that. I think, or, or people want to. I mean, this I don't really know if people, if people are missing that really, or, or you know, like do do they actually want to spend more time on music? That's why also for me, this album is, uh, um, how should I say, as it's my solo project, um, I don't really have to think. I mean. I'm responsible for this and I'm the only one responsible for this really. I mean, although obviously as every album, it's a teamwork, I've got a label, I've got uh, my, my, my friends and uh, who produced it with me and who wrote some songs with me. And, but at the end of the day, it's, it's my names on the album. And so I'm responsible for it. And therefore I really enjoyed this process of not thinking about these, you know, logics of the market or whatever, or, Just, you know, if this album does well, I'm obviously happy. You know, I I, I won't deny that. That would be ridiculous. But if it doesn't do well, um, it doesn't really matter. Because as as you said before, I'm doing this to bring a message across and to to really to say something, to say what what, what I have on my mind, you know. And and that also means talking about, you know, things that maybe are are a little bit unpopular to talk about, you know. uh, for example, in my in my latest single, "Fading Away," the 
um, it, 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 the video tells the story of this uh, ballet dancer um, who uh, Arena, who basically came from uh, from Kiev to to Milan. She was supposed to be there only for two weeks uh, for like a stage uh, at the um, academy, uh, ballet academy, and uh, and then the war broke out in uh, in Ukraine, and she wasn't able to to go back, and she still lives in Milan today. chance meeting um, with actually the, the, the wife of the producer of the video that's why we we then wanted to tell that story in the video um, and so you know these things today I mean artists always uh, I don't really know why but um, they 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 don't really take position you know on on, on, on certain things and and I think that that's vital for for an artist I mean otherwise you know what do you talk about so <clears throat> so yeah, that's why. But you know, if I would have done this in a in a different situation, maybe uh, with a with a band, uh, with a, uh, maybe like a, you know a huge record company, and uh, you know where it's all about the numbers and stuff, they would have maybe said, "Yeah, let's not talk about the you know the war. It's a bit too heavy a subject. Yeah. You know, just be light, and so that we can." Mm -hmm. But you know, fair enough. I understand that as well because obviously the market is is what it is, and so you know. Uh, but me for for that, at least for that project, which which I can I can have control over, I, I I really want to do what I feel, and if that means that there's less people listening to it or or paying attention to it because maybe they have less time, as we said, or or they want to make less time for that, then then so be it, you know. you for that attitude really because I think this is so important that you like you say you art is there for us to speak and to listen and to hear it in different ways you know and people take it up in a different way um, and it shouldn't be about the numbers it shouldn't be about what sells it should really be, be about what is created and what you know what is the message around that yeah, of course, one could also say, you know, it's it's a bit easier for me to talk like this because, I, you know, I am in the music by now and I've lived for music all my life. So, you know, um, <clears throat> for someone who's, who's struggling and who has to have, like I had before, I had to work, uh, you know, I had to do other, other jobs to be able to do music. Um, you know, there may be, it's more understandable if you uh, if you adapt more to the market, right? And you try to... I don't know, but I I think what I fear is that uh, that that you can tell that in the music, you know, uh, you can. I mean, at least I, I can. I think most of the times I can tell if a song was written, uh, you know, uh, between uh, the, the 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 same five songwriters who are responsible for most of the hits in uh, you know in in the charts, and um, and with me, uh, you know, it, it it will. It's more difficult that it resonates rather than maybe a song that you know that someone wrote because it just came out like that and he didn't say uh, okay i'm gonna have to write a song now because i haven't written a song for uh, a month and you know nothing's been on i haven't done any stories on my instagram or something so i need to post something and i need to you know i think yeah. i think I, I think you can tell you know the, the genuine the genuine you know, but I mean that works also with, like, for example, Coldplay, right? Which, which is a a band that, uh, that the first album I absolutely loved. But I still think that today, although they have certainly, you know, uh, adapted and they've been very, you know, smart about it as well. But they still have there's still something genuine in in the songwriting of of Chris Martin. So 